I talked about it several months ago, I think while I was in Ye out in Yellowstone, and I was talking about how uh, I was embarrassed a little bit by both of the candidates and that we were, it was going to be Trump versus Biden. And that, you know, I don't know, I was ready for some, I mean, Biden's been in politics for 50 years and Trump's coming up on 80 and I don't know. Thought it'd be fun to have some fresh ideas. Uh, I thought it'd be uh, fun to have some fresh ideas. And, uh, yeah, one thing led to another, and Biden was replaced by Kamala. And uh, that left just kind of one of the old warriors <laughs> representing one party. And last night I kind of regretted that fact and kind of wished uh, uh, we had two fresh young faces uh, out there. Somebody with fresh ideas and a fresh mannerisms and a fresh way to talk and yeah but we did we had uh, uh, I don't want to call her a young woman but relatively young woman uh, educated woman uh, who seemed fresher than the other candidate and I I uh, was disappointed in that a little bit, and uh, I was disappointed with that, and was hoping we could have had two energetic candidates discussing the state of the world, or the economy, or the country, or, you know... and not what we had last night, really. Somebody asked if I really expected that from Donald. No, I didn't expect it, but the difference was so glaring between the two candidates. Uh, I always find myself being disappointed in Donald Trump a little bit. Occasionally, he surprises me, and comes off presidential and <laughs> not just a bully, if you will. But last night wasn't one of those nights. And a couple times, I remember his debate in 2020, I think he lost the election then when he just kind of went blah, 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 blah. He tried to talk over Joe Biden instead of verbally spar with them. And I'm not, I wouldn't want to debate. I'd get frustrated. I'd be a bad at debate. I don't want to argue with anybody. Uh, so I'm not saying I could do it, but I'm not running for president either. So, uh, yeah, no, I was just kind of disappointed and felt, I don't know, just a fresher, better candidate could have done better. Because I think, uh, okay, I'll just say it, why not just say it. I think Trump, when Trump left, I think the world wasn't at war and the economy was doing better and housing and was more affordable for the average person. Yet he couldn't keep the discussion on that and it became who he's buddies with in the world stage. And, uh, I don't know. Seemed wrong. Will I need to change my vote based on last night's performance? No. Because it was a performance. And there's some things 
because I'm not going to get swayed by an hour long or an hour and a half long debate. But again, I think uh, some of the things <laughs> that are economically on the right side of the of the aisle uh, make sense and are worth fighting for and are worth having a young, fresher, less caricature person uh, discuss and debate and represent. And honestly, I was watching last night and I felt like I, you know, because I'm slightly right of center, but I see both sides and I certainly see some, the importance and of compassion and understanding and individualism or individuality and helping a guy up when he's beaten down. So I see uh, aspects of both sides that I like, but I, I couldn't help but feel that uh, the Republican Party has locked itself into being the party of the old white man. And I, I just didn't, I didn't think Trump could possibly win our, uh, uh, the Republican nomination. I didn't think that was even a possibility. And he, he strut into it or walked into it. It was easy. There was nobody to run against him. I'll tell you what, he might be, ah, it's fun being able to say whatever I want. It's fun being able to say whatever I want. Uh, Because it's my show. But, um, what was I going to say? Party of the old white guy. Oh, the guy I wanted for his running mate might be polarizing too, but he's quick-witted and could have, I think, probably dismantled Kamala on the stage last night is that Vivek Ramaswamy guy. He's still a guy. I'm not against men. I'm not even against old white men. But I don't want my party to be always symbolized by an old white man. (laughs) I'd like a fresh face (laughs) with a big smile and energy and enthusiasm and uh, quick wit and control over his emotions and uh, I think that Vivek guy could have done a great job on the stage in explaining the uh, I don't know benefits of capitalism or benefits of a smaller government or the you know a whole bunch of things but it just looked like on stage there was kind of an angry old white dude and a fresher face, if you will, on the other side. Uh, and I was disappointed by him. 